These great surgeons take care regarding the digastric muscle. It's not a strap muscle. Take care, it's not a strap muscle. A very common mistake because it has two pillies. So the two pillies arise from the digastric fossa of the mandible and the posterior belly from the mastoid notch of the temporal bone. So this is the origin. You have two origin for the digastric muscle because it has two pillies. The anterior pili will be originated from the digastric fossa of the mandible and its insertion is not the mastoid notch of the temporal bone. It's another origin of the digastric muscle. It's the origin of the posterior pili from the mastoid notch of the temporal bone. Now let's go for the insertion. Both the anterior pili and the posterior pili intermediate tendon is attached by a fibrous loop to the hyoid bone. So the hyoid bone is the insertion of the digastric muscle to pilis. So don't confuse yourself in the exam. If he's asked you about the origin and the insertion, it's not inserted in the mastoid notch. It's not inserted in the digastric fossa. Those are the two origins from the anterior pili from the gastric fossa and the posterior pili from the mastoid notch and they both intermediate with a tendon to be attached in a fibrous loop to the hyoid bone. Now let's go for the innervation. We have two innervation, one for each belly. The anterior pili is near from our face, so it will be innervated by the myelohyoid nerve from the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve. While the posterior pili it's near from the origin of the facial nerve, that's why it's innervated by the facial nerve. And take care that the posterior pili is from the second pharyngeal arch, while the anterior pili from the first pharyngeal arch. It's very important. Now, what is the action of this small muscle? It's the elevation of the hyoid bone during the swallowing and depression of the mandible. Take care. It's a small muscle, but have a lot of anatomy to be kept in mind. Take care.